Finance Minister Ken Oforiata is expected in Parliament this afternoon to respond to questions on how much President Ekufuado's latest foreign trip cost the taxpayer. Minority spokesperson on foreign affairs Samuel Okujetua Blakwa is alleging that government spent 2.8 million CDs on hiring a private jet for the trips instead of using the presidential jet. Mr. Blackwell filed a question demanding answers from the minister, which the minister will be answering today. Mind you, uh, the, he had previously filed other questions that the, uh, the defense minister had had to answer. While well, the defense minister, Dominic Nitiwu, uh, has been engaging him on the matter, we'll be live in parliament to hear from the finance minister. Also, we'll be hearing from an aviation expert who is insisting that the current presidential aircraft is capable of making non-stop trips across Europe. But then, what is the history behind this presidential jet that has been discussed, the Falcon 900? We'll be talking to, like I said, we'll be hearing from the uh, aviation expert. We'll be going to Parliament to talk to my colleague, Joseph Apukugakpo, as well as hear from the finance minister, who is part of the ministers who are supposed to be answering questions that, was, uh, that, that were filed by uh, Kujetu Ablakwa. But let's begin with a report put together by my colleague, Elton Broby, cataloging the history and controversy surrounding the presidential jet so far. Former President John Ajikum in 2007 both tired and scared by his 35-year-old presidential jet, widely termed as a flying coffin, took steps to order a new one. But the large spending on presidential luxury in an otherwise poor country did not meet much understanding. The Ghanaian opposition NDC cried foul and urged President Kufo to cancel the unnecessary order. He did not. After the NDC came to power following the 2008 elections and the late John Evans Atamels inaugurated his presidency in 2009, Many expected him and the new parliamentary majority of the NDC to cancel the order. They did not. Instead, the order was somehow redefined. After a string of postponement, the aircraft, which became the subject of heated discourse between the MPP and the then opposition NDC in 2008, finally made its entry into Ghana on Thursday, September 30th, 2010. The current aircraft has had its own challenges. Former President John Mahama experienced an ugly side in 2014 and 2015 in the air. President Akufuado had similar experience after attending the United Nations General Assembly in New York, USA. Information Minister Kojo Ponkoma explains more. I can confirm to you that yes, there was a challenge with the presidential jet. After about 20 minutes into the flight from Washington to Accra, and the pilot informed the passengers, including the president, accordingly. 11 years down the line, the controversy over presidential jet and travels are back in the news. Member of Parliament for North Town, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, is rejecting government justification for renting a luxury private jet for President Okufuado. The Dassault Falcon 900 EX is an impressive private jet with ranges of over 5,000 nautical miles. It is ideal for trans-oceanic and transcontinental trips. So this is a long-haul flight. So these excuses, with all due respect, cannot hold. But Defence Minister Dominic Nitu says a much bigger aircraft is the answer. To the current debate. One of the few countries that has not been able to do that is Ghana. And I also said, look, the African Continental Free Trade, they've asked the Air Force three times to help them bring VIPs. We couldn't because we don't have an appropriate aircraft. And so that question gave us the opportunity to make our case to the people of Ghana. Alton Brobe filed that report. Well, aerospace, aerospace expert Dr. Akwaribu Yakubu says the current presidential aircraft, the Falcon 900, is designed and capable of making non-stop trips to almost all of Europe. He has described as untenable government's justification for the hiring of a luxury private f jet for use by President Kufado during his recent official visit to some European countries. While well, the Defense Minister Dominic Nitiwu has justified that decision, saying the safety of the President, as you heard in that story, as well as the capacity of the aircraft were paramount in, in hiring that particular aircraft. We'll hear from the aerospace uh, experts, but here is Dominic Nitiwu speaking to my colleague Evan Spencer. Is it nobody in this enterprise, especially me, has said that President is not comfortable in, in, in the Falcon. Never. There's no part of my statement I've ever, I've ever said that. I've not also heard anybody say that President Kufado says he's not comfortable. Please, I don't want that statement to be attributed, to, especially to me. I've never said that, and I'll not say that. A president is using the aircraft. When he came, he used the aircraft around, and he's still using, even today, he's using the aircraft. So it is not a true story for anybody to say that he says he's not comfortable using, it's not, it's not comfortable for him. It's not true. It's not true. So why, why do you choose that luxury then? I'm coming, please. I'll come to that. 
This aircraft that we have has had at least two engine failures. You were right when you said that. It has also had a battery failure. It's, it's 11 years. Even it can be new, I have that. But I'm just giving you the history of this aircraft. That it is not as if this aircraft is so pristine. Even if it is new, you can have a problem. But I'm just giving you the fact that it has had two, it has had two engine failures. It has had uh, a battery failure. Dominic Nitiwo is Defence Minister. He was speaking to Evans Mensah last night on PM Express. Well, on the same show, the NDC MP for Notong, Okujetu Ablakwa, in, in whose name the question stood in Parliament, says his side was not convinced by the answers provided by the Defence Minister. The other excuse about freshening up and all of that. Look, Accra to Paris, six and a half hours. I don't believe that uh, the President... Uh, when he's working in Ghana as president, he showers every six and a half hours. I, I don't think he does that. The, pre the president is not a continent. He doesn't do that. I, I don't think so. So we are not helping the president when we argue that way. Now, what has been happening? And I've been, as I've told you, on these presidential jets from President, mm -hmm. from president Mills to and then President Mahama. An hour, an hour to arrival, your Air Force commanders will do the announcement. They will come and tap the commander-in-chief, say we are landing in an hour. Then uh, they will usher him. He would have a warm towel to freshen up. And he's ready to meet the welcome party. They provide tea because there's microwave on board. If you if you viewers can go to uh, the, 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 website the, the website of that sort Falcon. Okujeta Ablakwa speaks for the minority on the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee. Well, let's hear from Dr. Yakubu Akpaibu, who says that the presidential jet is capable of doing the same job that this rented, uh, uh, rented plane did. Uh, current presidential jet, the Falcon 900, can make such a trip. I don't know why uh, the president didn't use it. I don't know if uh, it had technical issues like... Uh, they had a problem in, in Washington before. But if not, with the Falcon 900, if you have like regular maintenance, it can go even more than 20 years and it will still uh, function like new. So I had problems why the aircraft should have technical issues when it's about 11 years old now. If the maintenance is done properly, that aircraft should function like new. It shouldn't have a problem. So the suggestion then is that perhaps it was poorly maintained? Yeah, if it's proven that the aircraft really has technical issues, then that means the uh, maintenance schedules are not being followed properly. So if you look at what he called, it's more like uh, the top of the range. It's like you going to rent a car, you are given, uh, you have a Toyota, a Mercedes, and then uh, uh, a Rolls Royce, and then you go and pick the Rolls Royce. You know, so that is what happened in this in this case. So the president could have gone for a less expensive uh, charter than uh, this particular aircraft. If we are uh, hiring, like it's a King Air, a King Air is a very small aircraft. It's more like the Falcon 900 range. If you hire that in Ghana here. Uh, we normally pay around 6000 Yakubu Akpaibo there, he is an aviation expert, speaking to my colleague Daniel Dazi. Well, we'll be getting crossing over to Parliament as and when the Finance Minister shows up so we can get answers to the questions that have been filed by, by Okujetu Ablakwa, the Honourable Member uh, of Parliament for North Tom, before, uh, before we were still waiting, so we just move on for now. Okay.